For rib projections, you're going to ask your patient if they're a woman to take their bra off. You don't want the underwire. Also, any jewelry or anything in this area, you could ask about nipple rings um, if you want to. So I'm just going to put the shield. It's actually kind of high, but it's going to go close to her. So you're centering. Um, you're going to have your IR an inch and a half above the shoulder. Um, pretty similar to like a chest x-ray. I'm just going to move you over. We're just going to do a, a unilateral. So usually an inch and a half is maybe a couple fingers uh, of light above their shoulder. And I'm just going to force this thing. What in the world? <laughs> what is it doing? It's like... Yeah, it's close we'll enough. We know we're centered, okay? Just gonna bring her arm out just a little bit, that way it's not um, getting x-rayed as well. And then this is her left side and she's upright, so it's just kind of slightly, you're gonna have a little bit in the light and then just, it's kind of in her shoulder area, you don't want it too close in the lung. Okay, so just collimating. I have my collimation open top to bottom, make sure I get, try to get as many ribs open, um, open, <laughs> get as many ribs as possible. And then I have just a slight um, collimation just on the other side of her midline, that way you can get the rib attachments to the sternum and everything. So this respiration for um, an AP or PA is on full inspiration, so she'll take a big breath in and hold it. Okay, so um, for the ribs, you're gonna do obliques. It really depends on where um, the patient is having their rib pain. So if they're having a posterior rib pain, you're gonna keep them AP, and you're gonna turn the patient towards the board. Okay, so it's a 45 degree angle. This arm is gonna come out again, and you're still inch and a half above the shoulder, um, with your IR, and I'm just gonna kind of collimate a little bit. You have a little bit of light on the outside here, and I'm just gonna place my marker. It's still you're still doing her left um, rib, so it's your left marker. It's about 45 degrees. I'm gonna turn it a little bit more, and you still have some of that light kind of on her midline, and she'll take that big breath in again and hold it. Good. Okay, and then go ahead and place your back against the board. So you'll do an AP, you'll do an oblique, and then you'll also do a lower rib x-ray. Um, in Merrill's positioning, it's actually a 14 by 17 that you'll keep in there to do a bilateral lower rib. Um, but most hospital and outpatient protocol is um, just a unilateral lower rib. So I'm just going to put a 10 by 12 in here crosswise. And the bottom of the IR, you're going to want to feel for her crest. And that is where the bottom of your IR should be, is that her crest. I'm going to move this down. And she's just going to move over just a little bit, tiny little step um, to your right. Good, keep going. Good. Okay, I'm just going to bring this arm out again. And I'm just collimating to my 10 by 12 size. And I'm going to move you just a little bit more. So, same thing, left ribs. So I'm marking it left, upright. And I'm just going to make sure that my Bucky is lined up. Okay, so because this is lower ribs, you want um, her diaphragm to come up and out of the way. So she's going to take her breath in and she's going to blow it out and hold it out so it'll be suspended on expiration. Good. And that's it. Um, the only other way you could do this is if, um, at least for the obliques, is if you have a patient that has anterior pain, 
you want to put that closest to the IR. So she would turn around and face the board. So if you're in a PA position, you're going to do turn the side away from the board. So PA away is what she'll remember. <clears throat> left ribs. She's going to get as close as she can to the board and I'm just going to move you over a little bit. So she's facing it. It's going to be her anterior side that's hurting but you want it away from the board here. Keep going, good. This arm is just going to come out and take a step forward for me. inch and a half above the shoulder so you have a little bit of light um, above her shoulder and you're right on her ribs here and I'm just gonna bring your arm out and she's still at a 45 degree so PA away um, if they have an anterior pain or anterior um, affected side and then I would mark it over here on this side since this is her left. And she'll still take a breath in and hold it. Okay, good. That's it.